Come on in. Beautiful. Go down, Kyle. Back it out. All right, let's go get the tank, guys. Straight in, Kyle. Bring it forward. Come on in. Keep going. Stop there. Tilt all the way down. There we go. Back out. Boardroom tank in. Here comes the desk tank. Come on, Kyle. Back it up nice and slow. See if you get that side on first. So it's like two. Okay, let's get that pallet out of here. We got a lot of other work to do with the plumbing, so let's rock and roll. What I tell you, tanks are in place, everything's under control. When we do the returns, we got these plates right here. What's happening, sir? What are you thinking? I love it. The only thing is, the reception desk is just a little too tall. Tall? We did the drawing right to the drawings with the stand and the tank. I get it. I mean, the drawings have a different perception, but this in real life, I just think it's just a little bit too high. Oof. You can't just disassemble a tank, cut it, and re-glue it on site. We got to come up with a different option. We might be able to remove the stand. If we take the stand out, that distance would bring it down roughly here if we go right to the floor. You good with that? Yeah, that'd be great. The only problem is the plumbing. We usually go through the bottom of the tank. I haven't drilled anything yet. So we're going to have to drill at the back instead yeah. of the bottom. That sounds good. Thank you so much. Kyle will work on reconfiguring the plumbing. Our friends from Cincinnati Aquarium Design and Maintenance will acclimate the fish. And Brett and I will add sand and water to the tanks. Nature's ocean, baby. Let it rip! Here it comes! All three tanks are in? Check. All three tanks are filled with water? Yep. Fish are ready? Now it's time to put them in their new homes. All right, what do we got? We got a blue jaw trigger to start with. There he goes, look at him. I love the yellow on his tail. Looks like a ribbon underwater. You know they like to talk a lot. You hear the noise in the tank, it's the triggers grunting. Now look at the queen angel saying hello. What's next? We got a volatile lion. Let me get this bad boy in the tank. When they first go in the tank, they like to hide. Then they come out and they actually patrol the tank and they open up, unbelievable. And they can get like 15 inches. Look at him, he's happy. And now, let's move to the reception desk. What do we got? We got a marble shark. He's gonna come out at night and eat crustaceans. Even though he's small, he can definitely do a bite that hurts. So I recommend not to get too close to these guys. Up next, the California Ray. Look at him go all the way from Mexico to Ohio, right to the sand. These guys love to burrow themselves. When you're wading in the water, <laughs> you gotta be careful of these guys. Oh, he's loving it. Dude, he's gonna say hello to every customer coming in here. You can put more fish in here, and I'll get the other one going. Let's do it. All right, here we go. We got the Dusimer tank. Wow. Look at the color of that one. We're taking him up to the penthouse. Going up. Here we go. There he goes. He's getting the king suite. They're like the largest of the tanks. They like to eat algae, and they're in the surging family, so they have the scalpels. Last but not least, unicorn tang. Oh boy. They get this appendage on their head, hence unicorn tang. You don't want to step on that bad boy. Beautiful. Going down. You hear that crowd? I know, I hear them. Dude, there's a lot of people here. Let's get ready to show these bad boys off. Let's do it. Let's do it. FTG, come on in. FPG, I want to welcome you guys to your new building, uh, the home of three amazing acrylic aquariums. Wayne's going to tell you a little bit about the first aquarium. When we first came here, we had the kitchen on one side and the boardroom, so we decided to put a separation in there. The tank's 700 gallons, and it's 132 inches long. It's amazing. So we designed this tank with corals, and in the middle of it, we changed it. So we had this menzanita branches with this rock, so it kind of flowed with the room in here. We worked with your wood guys. They actually built all the wood on site. I love it. It's killer. It's killer. Inside the aquarium, you have over 40 fish. They're all going to get along with each other. So in here, you have the Emperor Angel. The Emperor is uh, going to be the big boss of the aquarium. Well, since this is the boardroom, the boardroom needs the boss, right? What is this fish up there? Well, that's a lionfish right there. OK. Those guys are venomous. You got to be careful with those guys, because if you actually touch them, they could cause people to go to the hospital. I won't be sticking my hand in that. Well, there so you we'll go. So we'll be good. 
But this is just one of three aquariums. Are you ready to see number two? Yes, let's go. Right, let's go, go on. This is aquarium number two. Uh, we call it the reception desk aquarium, and we thought that it would make a great addition to your office. So when people first walk in, it's like the first thing that they can see. Mm -hmm. I love it. Love it. The tank itself is about 800 gallons. It's a very large tank, and we added the green jade in, and we did that because of the species that are in here, they're common, they love to be around the rocks. Love the green rock. Green's the color. We also know how important branding is, and we know that your logo is extremely important. So we actually cut it out on our CNC machine, and then we glued it to the back of the aquarium. There you go. Beautiful. On this tank, the filters are not here. They're in another room. It's a remote system, so you wouldn't hear it at the reception Beautiful. desk. Awesome. So inside here, you have a variety of different fish. One of my favorites is that guy right there, California Ray. These guys have two pallets, which are used for crushing snails and shrimp. Also inside here, we have yellow tanks peaceful community aquarium fish from the coast of Hawaii. Uh, we hope that you guys really enjoy this one. This is insane. This is insane. All right. We're not done yet. I think we saved the best for last, and I think that's up in your office. Let's do this. Come on, let's go. Welcome to your fireplace aquarium. You have a very large, very heavy aquarium. This thing's nine feet tall. Yeah. It's 800 gallons. It's 10,000 pounds sitting here. Originally, we wanted to replace the fireplace, but Derek told us that wasn't an option. We had to figure out a way to make fire and water actually work. So we created something really special for you. Oh. There we go. Oh, wow. Oh. There we go. <laughs> So believe it or not, it's actually water vapor and LED lights. I really didn't think that you guys could build me a tank that would mix water and fire. We didn't think we could do it either, but uh, we did it. <laughs> That's awesome. But uh, inside the aquarium, you have over 40 different kinds of fish in here. Uh, one of my favorites is the Annularis angel. That's a beautiful one right there, the one that's picking on the coral. And you have the Heniacus butterfly. They're also known as the banner fish, because when they swim, it looks like waving a banner in the air. There's a couple of rare fish in here. You have a scribbled angel. Um, those guys are pretty amazing. But we wanted to make sure that you had this special fish for your office, for your aquarium. Love it. It's amazing. Ooh. Over the top. Thank you. <laughs>